Hi and welcome to Data7 Embroidery Products. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the scanning feature built into the EDS uh, and we'll do just a little bit of digitizing on top of the image. So the inbuilt scanning system which is highlighted by this icon here uh, allows us to uh, scan using the uh, native scanning features that come with your scanner or scanner printer uh, and it will load the uh, scanning interface that comes with your device. Uh, we've got several other options to uh, uh, choose the scanner setup. Uh, we can change the resolution, I'm just going to leave it at 72 uh, 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 dots per inch. Uh, we can load images as I've shown you in a previous uh, video, unload images and we can save images that we scan. So I'm simply going to start by using the scan image. So this loads up the built-in uh, Twain dry, uh, 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 application that comes with your scan, scanning device. Um, yours will look slightly different to mine unless you've got a HP or a HP desk jet. Uh, 36 30 series in my case I'm just going to go with the default options uh, it's a photo it's color and I'm going to click the scan option to get right straight into it so that's finished the scan uh, I'm going to select the image uh, it enables me to do it's actually done a pre-scan with my software that come that, that came with my scanner uh, it enables me to just select uh, the parts of the um, a4 sheet that I actually want to utilize so I'm just trimming off the edge and then I'm going to click done the, 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 there's some other options here which I won't go into because it will be different for your device as it will be uh, compared to mine I'm going to click the done button in my case and as you can see it's loaded up the uh, image that I've just scanned uh, it's actually automatically fit the screen I believe um, actually it's very uh, it's almost the, the same size so fit uh, actually shrinks it uh, actual size makes it a little bit bigger so there we have our scanned image you'll notice if you viewed the how to uh, digitize uh, a design parts one two and three that it's actually the digital image that I've created on the image itself you can see where I've just drawn some helper lines to help me uh, a digitize uh, and uh, and the direction I'm going to digitize in and uh, the overlaps so that's basically it for how to use the scanning uh, feature in the EDS I'm just going to quickly go into uh, digitizing the design I'm going to choose uh, a green to start with and again referring back to uh, how to create your own designs part one two and three you'll see it's it's very similar once we've selected uh, our origin stitch we can then start digitizing over the top of this image uh, just as if I'd loaded a uh, digital image that I'd already created so I'm just going to do the fill part of this very quickly. There's my uh, uh, underlay stitches. I'm now going to go over to here. Uh, you can see the helper line which is telling me, uh, which I've drawn on, which helps me uh, lay down the angle of the stitches in the fill. I'm going to choose uh, fill A. Uh, for all information about fills uh, and how to digitize and digitizing columns, please refer to our YouTube channel. So the first two stitches uh, denote the angle of the um, uh, stitches in this particular fill. So there's a 45 degree angle. I'm just going to now put down right mouse clicks to define the uh, right hand side of the fill, the complex fill. I'm going to use now the left mouse button to choose the exit point of the fill. Uh, some more right mouse button clicks to define the left hand side and finally uh, a left hand mouse button to fill it and you can see the angle of the stitches are 45 degrees all the way to the from the top left to the bottom okay so that concludes this video on how to scan and a little bit on digitizing please view our 
uh, YouTube channel for more information and to see all of our other videos. Thank you for watching.